looking around. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Trying to get you to see the beautiful things that are growing around me. My gorgeous uh, succulents. Anyway, the sun is out and my dog and I are going. Today, I feel fantastic. Another fantastic day. What am I going to tell you guys today? It's my message for you. Listen to any of the greats. Tony Robbins, Oprah Winfrey, to name a couple. And what I have learned. Look at the sunshine. When the sun comes out and it's hitting you, how great do you feel? <laughs> like you can do anything, right? My message today First of all, you just take in this gorgeous nature, the gorgeous trees, the incredibly large birds. Oh my God, I wish I could show you guys a scene. I don't know, the sun's hitting me in the eye. If I could get that tree. You see that bird up there? Oh my God, it's huge. Oh my God, he's up there sunbathing or something. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try my best not to move the camera around so much. Plus my dog's gonna go to the bathroom. He always goes right as we start out. <laughs> but my message today is to be like the sun, shine like crazy. Change your motivation. Change your story. Change your focus. Change your attitude. Change your perspective. What's going to change? Your life. Your life is going to change. The doves are flying around me. I stop for nature, okay? Yeah, I'm corny like that. I love it. Coming back and put my uh, sweater on because it was yesterday. I brought my dog out without our jackets and mm, we were sorry. <clears throat> but that's my message for you guys. Come on. You got it? It's not any harder than that. <laughs> Life is as difficult as you make it. Okay? You can sit back and you can play the blame game or you can do the woe is me's or, you know, pitiful, feel sorry for me, got the I can't help it, the world did me wrong, I'm sad, I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> you are what you think you are. You are where you say you are. You are who you think you are. Why, why not give it your best? Why not imagine the best? Why do we want to, he's going, why do we want to bow down to the sour, to the uncomfortable to the negative instead of celebrate the positive hold on hold on <laughs> why right why why is it easier but you know what i don't care i don't want to marinate in that you know and i keep bringing it up but it is the reason i've changed I could have allowed my divorce to consume me. <clears throat> and believe me, I had wanted that divorce for a long time. And no, we all come into this planet the same, the way God's source created us. 
and we're dropped out. We forget all the things that we knew when we got here. And it, it's a movie. It's, it's as if we're going backwards. We've got to go back and figure out who we are, find out what we're supposed to do. Oh my God, two incredible golden retrievers are passing. Oh, my dog's going to lose it. So oh, it's like my golden, my golden passed a year ago, February the 4th. Oh my God, we miss him like mad. Eddie is staring right now. Let me get back to my to my positivity here in a second. That's pretty damn positive. Those two dogs. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> God. Oh my God, they're absolutely gorgeous. My boy was gorgeous. He had cancer. <laughs> cancer is the number one killer of dogs. Anyway. Also, okay, while we're at it. It's that mindset. You decide the life you're going to live. I'm going to be the sad, pitiful guy who takes on all the woes. You know, and let it kill me. I'm just gonna let it, life, the sad part of life, consume me. Or be the victor and say, no, that's not the kind of life I'm gonna live. I'm gonna change my perspective. I'm gonna focus on all the things I want. The positivity is how you feel by having all those things that you want so it's the living as if you already have it so yeah my divorce could have killed me and my children <clears throat> it could have beaten me down it could have it could have really you know what it was a path that we were not destined to go down living off society you know allowing other people places and things to take care of us I mean you know n no lie we had to have a moment to to shake ourselves you know off dust ourselves off and and get a grip and stand up because believe me this took this took some time. And this is when, I mean, I say we're peeling back the layers of an onion. This is when we were becoming, okay? The divorce was a powerful, pivotal moment. It caused the shakeup that made us re rethink, change our perspective look at life in a different way like I said motivation you know change your motivation change your focus change your thought change your perspective your outlook your attitude whatever you want to call it decide to live with love and by faith or say screw it I'm miserable the world owes me I'm sad I'm broken, somebody's gonna pay. Or you can say, ah, I'm better than that. God made me like the fucking sun. And I'm gonna shine. I'm gonna shine as bright, as brightly and as loudly as I can. And I'm going to make a change. And I'm gonna change people's lives. That's my mission, you guys. <laughs> and the vibration that comes from this positivity is, it's a high like no other. Come on, Eddie. My head is buzzing right now. I'm so, I'm just so happy. I feel, I feel so good. I feel so powerful because I'm not going to let it get me down. 
Life is amazing because I decided to take charge. So, also, I got involved with the oils. And what did they teach me? Oh, geez. A whole hell of a lot, okay? Those oils are absolutely pure. They made me think about this earth. How things grow. How they're made. Go ahead. And Peeling back the layers of an onion, those old habits that I had, that I no longer have. Why? Let me tell you something. Habits are not needs, okay? I'm talking about the, ba the way you eat. <clears throat> Come here, Eddie the meat, the dairy, all those things that your body doesn't need. And what is, for the dairy, what do they call it? Lactose intolerant? Well, we're all lactose intolerant because you're not supposed to be eating it. <laughs> it's not made for you. I'm going to keep going. Keep going. Life is meant to be lived, to be savored, to be enjoyed. It is not a punishment. It is not a sacrifice. It is a joy. So, decide. You know, you're not happy in your job. Get out of it. Go and do something until you find the job of your dreams. Um, you're not happy with someone, walk away, tell them, tell them, you're, tr you know, I'm not saying to just suddenly, this takes time, but, but really listen to yourself, listen to your heart, make yourself happy, because you're doing yourself and the other person and the other situation a favor, you're doing the right thing, don't say, well, I... I have to be careful because I blah, blah, blah. I have to, you know, take my time because blah, blah, blah. No, no, you don't. <laughs> Stop sacrificing yourself. Stop negatively talking to yourself. Stop looking at negative things. Stop the hurt, stop the pain, stop the sadness and the unhappiness and agree to do the right thing for yourself. Use your heart in a kind way to do the kind right thing for yourself. Be kind to others. Be kind to your environment because it is the right thing to do. It's going to bless you. The universe is going to bless you tenfold and there's a saying and I have it on my Instagram page that says the universe is carnivorous and it's orchestrating to give you what you're asking for so if you're sitting there and you're telling the tale of woe is me I feel sorry for myself I feel sad I can't get up I can't do it that's what you're going to get more of but if you say, hell no, this is not me. This is not my life. Why? Because it doesn't feel good. This isn't what I want. I'm going to go after what I want. Why? Because it feels better. It feels fantastic. It makes me more powerful. It's what I'm going to do. It's what I'm going to have. And you've got to do it. You've got to do it. You've got to tell yourself you're going to do it and do it. <laughs> And don't let anyone or anything stop you 
you do, you're going to fail. You're going to continue to stay right where you are. Do you understand? You guys, I can't be any more clear. I'm telling you this because I know it. I have lived it. This is my life. I was complacent in my life for too long. And it made me sad and unhappy. And it almost broke my spirit. It almost killed me. But I was determined to not let that happen. And when I got a divorce, I had no idea what was gonna happen to me and my kids. I had no idea. I was scared to death. And like I said, it was scary for a while because we had to find our way out. It's as if, look at it like, look at it like an explosion, a bomb going off. And then all of a sudden, you've got to, the smoke has got to clear. You've got to find your way out. So sometimes the answers are not right in front of you. But if you tell yourself ahead of time, I, I know what I want. I want better. I'm gonna do better for myself and choose the best feeling thoughts and things. <clears throat> Come here, Eddie. And ideas. And I'm not gonna hurt anybody in the process. I don't have a hidden agenda. You know, I'm not gonna be creative to, to screw people over or to steal or to be underhanded. No, I'm going to change my attitude and look at my life as a gift and help myself and thereby help others, show others that it can be done. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna let you go because I could go on and on about this in many different ways, but the message is the same. Change your story, change your life. It's that simple. And yeah, be one of those who says, oh yeah, fooey, you know, screw you. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Bless you, the more power to you. You'll see though, you'll see. Because guess what? Good always wins. The best feeling things always win. Peace, you guys. Have an incredible Tuesday. Eddie and I are going to go for our walk now. I hope I inspired one of you. I'll talk to you again soon.